What's up guys, Mike Thomas, AKA The Young Trishula here. Recently, I put out a video which was basically just my day one free to play prank kid deck profile for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. This is the same deck, hasn't changed. And that video did insanely well. So first off, I just wanna thank all you guys for 10K on that video. Uh, really, really happy with how that video did and just could not thank you guys enough for all the love and support on that video. But it's been about a week since I posted that video and you know, I really haven't had a chance to make a proper guide for the deck. Uh, I had a really busy week with coaching sessions on Metify and streaming a really cool challenge run that we are doing over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Trishla TTV. Go check us out if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. It's a lot of fun. But it's currently two in the morning and I finally just have time to sit down, talk about the prank kids and just make a little guide for you guys. So hopefully this will serve as a good guide for anybody interested in prank kids that doesn't already know how to play the deck and you know hopefully hopefully you can learn something from this so without any further delay let's just hop straight into it all right so we are queuing up against one of the ai's here just so that we can kind of go through some opening hands with the deck so this is a this is a pretty pretty solid starting hand and a very good one for an example because it doesn't give me many other options uh, so let's just say that you are starting with any prank kids name So we'll call this starting with prank kids Lampsies. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna normal summon your prank kid and link it into the link one prank kid meow mew now because all the prank kids have the effect that if they are sent to the graveyard as material for a fusion or link summon of a prank kid monster you can activate their effect to do something and then summon another kid from your deck so most of the time you're going to want to, if you did not start on Pranked Fanzies, you're going to want to summon Pranked Fanzies as the first one that you get out. If you are starting on Fanzies, then you can go into either Dropsies or Lampsies. Usually you want to save Roxies for last if you are not starting on it. So just so that you can cycle through cards before you draw. Once you summon your Fanzies, you're going to link both the Meow Mew and the Fanzies into the Link to Doodle Doo. Now what Doodle Doo does is it searches for a spell or trap card from your deck. What you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to search a Prank Kid spell or trap. And usually it's gonna be either Prank Kid Pranks or Prank Kid Pandemonium. Now, usually I like to search Prank Kid Pandemonium with the Doodle Doo if I have another Prank Kid in my hand, because if my opponent happens to have Nibiru when I get to five summons, uh, and they choose to activate it, you can chain that pandemonium and try and trigger one of the, the effects of the kids that you have not yet used. So that is an option for you and just something to keep in mind. So we're gonna use our doodle do to search pandemonium and then Fanzies is going to send the other card uh, being prank kids pranks. Now, if you already have the pranks in your hand or say you search the pranks with the doodle do, you would do the opposite and you would send pandemonium to the graveyard. Now we are going to then summon uh, another kid, one of the ones that we haven't used. So at this point, you should have gone through all three of Fanzies, Dropsies, and Lampsies at this point. So one of them should have triggered, Fanzies should have triggered, and then the third one, whichever one it was, either Dropsies and Lampsies. In this case, we have Dropsies. If we started on Dropsies at the start of the turn, this would be a Lampsies. Um, you should have that on the field and you'll have your Doodle Doo. Now, the next thing you wanna do is pretty important. You're gonna want to use your Doodle Doo effect to tribute itself and add back the Prank Kids pranks as well as one of your Prank Kids names from the graveyard. Why are we doing this? We are doing this because we want to make sure that our doodle is resolving, getting our cards in case they have a Nibiru. We don't want to just, you know, tempt fate and um, just kind of push our luck. So we're going to do it earlier rather than later. You can do it later, but I think it's just better practice to just do it first. So we're going to start with the pranks. And then you're going to use pranks to discard whichever prank kid card you add back off this doodle do. So you can discard the pranks. This will give you a token. Now, because you have a prank kid token plus a prank kid name with your pranks on the field, you can link these two off into another copy of doodle do. And the reason we're doing this will be evident uh, a little bit later, a little bit later. But just trust me on this. You're going to want to make a second doodle do 
even though you've already used its effects. We're going to use our Dropsies in the graveyard, gain a thousand, and then we're going to summon the last one out being Roxies. Finally, what you're going to want to do is you want to link that Roxies and that Doodle Doo off for a Bow Wow Bark. Now, Bow Wow Bark is really cool because it is going to allow us to get back two prank kids from our graveyard on our opponent's turn and protect our prank kids from being destroyed by card effects. So that's really strong. Your opponent can't ride Gekki you. They can't ride, they can't like dark hole you. So it's gonna be, it's just really strong for that. And getting back to two kids is really nice as well. So you do have to banish a card from your hand for the Roxies, but that's okay. We can just get rid of a name like Prank Kids Place. We draw a card, draw another Pandemonium. Then we're gonna trigger that Roxies and we're gonna summon out a name. I usually like to summon out Fanzies again, just cause it has the biggest defense. So we'll then set our Pandemonium, and then you can play with what other cards are in your hand. We're going to go and end our turn. Say we've played out our full turn. We're going to trigger the effect of Prank Kids Pranks on the field. This is why we summon that second doodle, is because we want to be able to shuffle back cards into our deck or extra deck in order to draw a card. And because we have this Bow Wow Bark on the field, we don't want to shuffle back the names that are important to our combo. Like if we didn't have this doodle do here, we would have to shuffle back either a Meow Mew or, you know, one of our one of our other names, and then we'd have to rely on drawing two copies of a prank kid's name. So when you only have one name and you don't want to rely on having another name in your hand, you know, to just like hard use the fusion with, you're just gonna go into two doodles, so you're gonna put both of your doodles back, just recycle your resources, and then you can put back uh, some of your kids. You can either put back the Roxies, just because Roxies is not necessary for summoning the Battle Butler, or you can put back whichever kid that you decide to summon to the field. Uh, usually I just put back the Roxies, though, just because I'm paranoid. And also I play, I play fewer copies of Roxies, I believe. So, and there you have it. We have our full combo. Opponent starts playing their turn. You can use their Bound Wow. Uh, we are not going to use the effect of Meow Mew because you do want two activations on your Battle Butler. So then you just target your two in the graveyard. You just add back your Dropsies and your Lampsies. Get those two back. Now you have all three names. You have a set Pandemonium that's live. And you can go into your Battle Butler. We'll fuse our three kids together. Get our Battle Butler. And then you can choose to trigger... Two or three of the kids, however many you want. Sometimes it's right to go for, uh, sometimes it's right to just put two bodies on the field if you don't feel confident that the bodies are going to stick. But, you know, we like to risk it, so we're going to do all three. We don't think the AI is going to threaten us too much. Um, the one thing I would mention, though, is just put the fanzies as chain link three, just because it's probably the worst one uh, after you're already set up. You're going to summon those out, and there you go. Full combo. Now, for this combo, I want to show how you can play around Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs with the deck when you open up uh, Prank Kid's Place, plus a discard and a, uh, and a Prank Kid name. So, this is a perfect hand to show this off. So, let's start by activating our Prank Kid's Play, or our Prank Kid's Pranks. We're going to use Pranks to discard a name from our hand and summon a token. We can then normal summon our Fanzies. And instead of starting on Meow Mew like you would normally, you can actually start by linking off into the Link 2 and summoning Doodle Doo. And now, because of this, you can chain block for your fanzies, putting uh, fanzies as chain link 1, and making your Doodle chain link 2. And now your opponent cannot Ash Blossom your fanzies, and your Doodle will resolve. If they want to Ash Blossom you, they're going to have to Ash Blossom the Doodle Doo. And because we have our fanzies, or we'll get our fanzies, even if uh, we didn't start on it, we will be totally fine. So we're going to search with our Doodle Doo. We can add a Pandemonium to our hands. And then with our fanzies, we can then dump a place or another copy of Pandemonium, whichever you prefer and then summon out a name. Now, if we were to have gotten Ash Blossomed on this Doodle Doo, we would have been totally fine because they Ash Blossom us, we say, okay, that's fine. The fanzies can then choose to send Pandemonium from our deck to the graveyard. And then after we special out a Dropsies, we can link into the second copy of Doodle Doo, which we're going to do anyway, and we'd be able to add it back. And this applies also for Effect Veiler, Imperm, whatever. So we're going to trigger our Dropsies on the second 
doodle do we are not going to use our pandemonium we're going to summon our lampsies out and now because we haven't used our meow mew we are going to keep this in mind we're going to use our doodle we're going to tribute it off we're going to get our place and we can get back our fansies and now we can just link up into the meow mew right here get it into play trigger our lampsies burn our opponent for 500 summon roxies from our deck we can activate place to add any name that we want uh if you if you want to just get a redundant name say for example our lampsies since we have two of them in deck we can now use that as the card that we want to banish um for the Roxies, and we're just getting our place on the field so that when we summon our Battle Butler, we can increase all of our monsters by 500. So then we're just gonna go into our Bow Wow Bark, summon Bow Wow, he's a good boy, use our Roxies. Let's banish that Lampsies that we added from our hand. We'll draw another copy of it because that's just our luck, and we'll summon another name from deck. You don't have to summon here, but you know, it's fun. May as well. And then you can set a cart. So this whole end board we've still ended on the same end board as we normally would but we cannot lose to ash blossom and joy spring or a gamma on our initial summon because we open the prank kids prank so very important combo to learn one of the most common questions that we got on the deck profile was how do you summon totally awesome now as you can see we do play one copy of the totally awesome and I will with this hand show you how we summon this and we use it to protect ourselves from Nibiru the primal being. So you're going to be able to summon Toad on your fourth summon whenever you have two prank kids in your hand uh, that are not prank kids dropsies and you have a copy of polymerization in your hand which as you can see we do. So you're going to start your turn by activating polymerization and choosing to summon the Prank Kids Rocket Ride. So we're gonna fuse our Fanzies and our Lampsies together in order to summon the Rocket Ride. And we are gonna order our Chain Links with having the two kids being Chain Link 1 and Chain Link 2, and using our Rocket Ride as Chain Link 3. Now, it's important that we use Rocket Ride as Chain Link 3. Even though we can't attack on our first turn, the reducing the attack points of Rocket Ride makes it so that uh, your opponent cannot respond with Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs as the last thing in the chain to happen was not the Prank Kids attempting to special summon from the deck. So we are going to resolve our Lampsies and both Fanzies and Lampsies are going to summon the Dropsies from our deck. And with our Fanzies, you're going to end up sending a copy of Pandemonium. And it is important that we send the Pandemonium and you'll see why in a minute. So we are going to special summon the dropsies to our field now as you can see that this is our third summon we can now overlay both copies of dropsies as they're both level two aqua monsters into our totally awesome as our fourth summon so now that toad is on the field our opponent cannot hit us with a nibiru because if they do we're able to just tribute our toad off and uh negate that nibiru which is really really huge for us so we are going to now that the toad now that the toad is on the field, we are going to use the rocket rides effect to tribute itself, and we're going to summon back both that lampsies and that fansies, and we're going to link these two off into Doodle Do. You might be wondering, well, wait, why are we doing this? Now we have no prank kids in our hand. How are we supposed to finish our combo? So what we're going to do is because we don't have any prank kids left in our hand, as you can see. We are going to use Doodle to get us a Prank Kid. We're going to trigger the effect of our Doodle Do, and we're going to search Prank Kid's Place, the Field Spell. And we're going to activate the Field Spell, and with it, we are then going to add the third copy of Dropsies to our hand. You can then normal summon the Dropsies, turn it into Meow Mew, trigger the Dropsies when it hits the graveyard, and summon the Roxies from our deck. We can also use our Doodle Do effect to add back two names. We can add back our Pandemonium, and we can add back any name. It really doesn't matter which one, though I prefer to add back the Dropsies just so that we have it. So at this point, you would summon your Bow Wow Bark. Um, however, I, I summon the Doodle Doo by accident. So we can just all agree that this is a copy of Bow Wow Bark. Just so that it's visually there, we can link off into the Bow Wow Bark. But just know that the Doodle Doo should be a Bow Wow Bark on the field. 
you can trigger that Roxy's. You can either choose to special summon or to not special summon if you want. I would special summon though, just because if the Bow Wow Bark gets negated, you can still go into Weather Washer. You can set your Pandemonium and you can pass. And then if you already have the Pranks, you can activate it. But as you might notice, you do not get both the Pandemonium and the Pranks with this line of play. So you get your, you get your Pandemonium, but it is protected by a Totally Awesome. If they don't have something like Nibiru to stop you from playing, you can use the Totally Awesome to protect your Pandemonium from cards like Cosmic Cyclone or Twin Twister, which can be really annoying for the deck since Pandemonium cannot be activated during the standby phase. So that is the line of play that you're gonna want to do whenever you have Polymerization and two names that are not Dropsies. So in the last combo, I showed you guys how you can play around Nibiru the Primal Being with polymerization summoning out our totally awesome but did you know that there is another way to do it you can actually play around a beer the primal being with just two prank kids in your hand and here's how you do it i'm going to start off with our prank kids place i know that we already have fansies and dropsies in our hands but just to show this off i want to show um this combo when we start with prank kids roxies and i hope that this will become obvious a little bit later in the turn so just bear with me so let's start with our Prank Kids Roxies, normal summon it, and link it off for our Meow Mew. So far, so standard. So we're gonna trigger our Roxies and we're going to banish this Fanzies from our hand. We're gonna draw a card and we're going to special summon Fanzies from our deck. Now it's really important that if you do not start by normal summoning Fanzies and as I'm showing you guys, I prefer to start this line with Roxies whenever possible. There's one very important thing that you have to remember. You need to summon your Prank Kids Fanzies as the first summon from deck. And I'll show you guys why in just a minute. So we are going to link our Fanzies and our Meow Mew into Doodle Doo. We are going to order our chain links as we always do. Chain link one Fanzies, chain link two Doodle. We're gonna add our Pandemonium from our deck to our hand. And now we're going to get to the part of Fanzie. This is why you need to have two names in your hands. Normally this is the part of the combo where you're going to send your Prank Kids pranks to the graveyard. However, we're not going to do this. Instead, we're going to look at our hand and we're gonna see which prank kid name that we have in our hand. Just keep in mind that the name that is in your hand cannot be Roxy's. So keep in mind that the name in your hand needs to be either Dropsy's or Lampsy's. So we are going to send to the graveyard a copy of Lampsy's because we have Dropsy's in our hand. Now remember that this is our fourth summon. We have summoned the Roxy's, that's our first summon, the Meow Mew being our second, the Fanzies as our third, Doodle Doo is our fourth, and if we are want to summon from deck here off this Fanzies, this will make five, meaning our opponent has the opportunity to activate Nibiru the Primal Being in their hand. However, what we're going to do is we're not going to summon a monster to the field, which might feel wrong. Now, you might be wondering, Trishla, why? Why? Why are we not summoning a monster? It's just a free body. It's a plus one. Why are we not doing that? Well, we want to play around Nibiru. So, because we're still under five summons, our opponent cannot Nibiru us. So, because of this... We are going to keep just the doodle on the field and use our doodles effect to tribute itself and add two back. We are going to add back the two names from our graveyard that we don't have being Fanzies and Lampsies. And now we're just gonna set Pandemonium and now we can just pass our turn. So hopefully it makes sense now why we st I wanted to start with Roxy's just to show you guys that you can get a draw from your deck. As you see, we drew Polymerization. So that opened up potential lines of play for us if we did get interrupted. But now we have assembled all the pieces we need to summon our battle butler in under five summons this play comes up all the time so it's very important that i show you guys this line so that you know that you can do this and not have to fear nibiru on the ladder so if you're running into nibiru a lot this is a very safe way to play the turn you do give up a draw you do give up a little bit of resources but very a very effective line of play very important for you to know all right so Hopefully that guide was helpful for some of you um, who are just picking up prank kids for the first time, haven't played the deck, and want to learn how to play it. If this guide was helpful, do let me know down in the comments or by showing your appreciation with a like on the video. Or if you want to make me really happy, you can consider subscribing. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of March. So click that little red button and you'll make you'll make me one very happy ice barrier monster. But other than that. That's all that I have for you guys today, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.